Hello, and welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss Monit monitoring in the CWP Admin Panel. Monit is a utility for system management and monitoring processes, files, directories, and devices on a Unix system. It can perform automatic maintenance and repair, and execute other actions if errors occur, such as restarting a non-responsive process and sending an alert by email. Monit can act if an error situation should occur. For example, if a DOS attack is in progress, Monit can stop or restart Apache and send you an alert message. You can use Monit to monitor daemon processes, such as those started at system boot time like SendMail and MySQL. You can monitor files, directories, and file systems for timestamp, checksum, or size changes, and email an alert or perform an action if they should change. You can monitor network connections to various servers. You can test programs or scripts at certain times, test the exit value of a program, and perform an action or send an alert if the exit value indicates an error. This means that you can use Monit to perform any type of check that you can write a script for. Finally, Monit can be used to monitor general system resources on localhost, such as overall CPU usage, memory, and load average. So Monit is an incredibly useful tool, and it can be installed and configured directly within CWP. To access the Monit module, go to the sidebar, and under Services Config, click the twirl-down arrow and select Monit Monitoring. Or, to find it more quickly, just type in the navigation search bar, Monit, and you'll see it below in the filtered results. This takes you to the CWP Monit module. To get started, first click the Install Monit button. You can review the installation details, and then click Confirm Install. And our package is installed successfully. After every configuration change to Monit, including installation, we have to restart the service. So go ahead and click Restart now. Now we can configure Monit by clicking the Configuration Files tab. And then you can select the configuration files that you want to load. We do this by selecting the file that we want to add and clicking the single chevron to send it to the Configuration Enabled table. And continue doing this for each configuration you want to add. When you're done, you can review your list of predefined configurations, and when you're satisfied, restart Monit. Remember that every time you make any changes to the configuration, that you'll have to restart Monit again. After restarting, we'll need to wait or delay about two minutes in order for the process statuses to be shown under the Manage Services tab. If any of the services are asking for a restart, you can restart it here from the Monit Manage Services tab by either restarting the process or restarting all. An example use of the Monit service may be if we wanted to monitor a postfix mail queue and send a notification email if a certain number of stuck mail threshold is reached. To do that, we'll need to add a new predefined configuration file. So go back to the Configuration Files tab, and we'll scroll down to find the postfix queue configuration file, and add that to our configuration table. Next, we'll select the postfix queue configuration file within our configuration table, and this will open the contents of this file in a new tab. Here we can see the default threshold has been set at 50. Let's change the threshold to 10 and save our changes. Now we can go back to Monit, and we'll need to set our email ID to receive the alerts, so we'll click Main Configuration. And here we can change the alert from root at localhost to admin at domain.com and save our changes. Now we can go back to the Monit module and restart the service. And that's it. Monit is now installed, configured, and set up to monitor our postfix mail queue and alert us if the stuck mail threshold of 10 is reached. For more information, please consult the CWP User Guide at the following link. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for using CWP.